You'll remember a new story we brought you a few weeks ago about a man who was wrongly accused of sexual assault after brushing past a woman in a busy London station. Well, Mark Pearson was charged and put on trial for the alleged attack, only for the jury to clear him in 90 minutes. There were no witnesses or forensic evidence brought before the court. And now Mark wants to know why the case was allowed to reach court at all. He joins me this evening. Welcome to the programme. Hello. Thanks for being here. Talk me through what your first reaction was when you knew that you were being accused Initially, of Initially, shock, mm. as anyone would be, um, just terrified and wondering why I was being arrested in the first place. Well, we're going to show some CCTV images and, and talk people through what happened. So, uh, and pay close attention to the arrows here. Uh, this is you walking past the woman at Waterloo Station last February. So you're the red arrow. And here we can see you. You're holding your rucksack with one hand, a newspaper in your other hand. And the second uh, CCTV image is the woman who's marked by the blue triangle coming towards you. Now, the third image, you directly pass one another and then you both keep on walking. There are some time codes right at the top of your screen there and they show that you're only next to each other for a second and that's compared to the two to three seconds that the claimant said the assault lasted for. Now, when you were shown those pictures by police, what did you think? I wasn't actually shown them by the police. I was shown them six months after I was first arrested. Um, there was a, de a delay in getting those images to my solicitor, and it was only then that I realised that that was actually me in the CCTV footage. Until then, I thought I was being confused with somebody else. So it was only then that I realised I was being accused of this. Oh, so you first thought it might be missing identity. And when yeah. it went to your solicitor, then how did you analyse it together? We sent it to a CCTV expert, um, a guy called Jacob Blythe at Warwick University, and he came to the conclusion that I only passed her in half a second. Yeah. And meantime, presumably, you're trying to get on with your life. Exactly. With this accusation hanging over you. What was that like? I just couldn't get on with my life. I mean, I'm a painter and artist and I just couldn't paint. I, I couldn't stop thinking about this. I, I just, for me, it was totally bizarre. Uh, it was all I thought about. I was waking up in the, in the night just shaking. You've written to the Crown Prosecution Service asking for an explanation or an apology. Have, have or, you either. Got or either. <laughs> anything. Have you got anything yet? No, nothing yet. Right. Why do you think that is? I've no idea. I mean, I've no idea why it was set forth in the first place. Mm. I shouldn't have even been arrested. What would you like them to do? I would like them to just take a look at their methods, their system. There's something gone terribly wrong with it. Okay. Well, just to say that a CPS spokesman said there was sufficient evidence for this case to proceed to court and progress to trial. We respect the decision of the jury. They have acknowledged receipt of your letter, they say. They'll reply in due course. I'd love to know what the evidence was. Okay. Mark, thanks very much. Thank you. Mark Pearson.